So we're just going to talk about the shape of a distribution. Um, as I said, this warrants its own video because this is something important that you may want to rewatch. Uh, this is something that we're going to be talking about from, I mean, the entire term. This is really important. So let's talk about different shapes of the distribution. So we have a uniform distribution. So the uniform distribution just looks like a big rectangle. Um, the frequency of every value is exactly the same. So for example here, uh, this is some random data that we have, 0 through 20. And this is a histogram because once again, the rectangles are touching each other. So this would be a histogram, not a regular bar graph. Um, so the frequency of each one, whatever this is, it occurs... 20 times each one occurs 20 times so the frequency of this variable this variable for each value is the same so this is called a uniform distribution so when it looks like a rectangle it is a uniform distribution this right here is a bell-shaped graph it is a bell-shaped distribution the highest frequency is in the middle the frequency for each tail to the left and the right gets smaller and smaller. When your data is like this, it's called bell shape. You'll often just see it drawn in. And so this is also called a normal distribution. And this is this is like goals. This is our goals for distributions right here. Skewed right. This is important. Skewed right. <clears throat> It's exactly the opposite of what you think it would be. Skewed right means that your tail on the right is longer than the tail on the left. So most of your data is gonna be over on the left. That's where the mountain for your graph is. It's gonna be on the left. So if the tail is smaller on the right, it is skewed right. Same thing with skewed left, except for just the opposite. When the tail on the left is longer, then the tail on the right, and all of your data is concentrated on the right, or most of it is, this is skewed left. So once again, it's exactly the opposite of what you would expect. You would expect that skewed left would mean all your data is on the left. It is exactly the opposite. Skewed left means your tail is longer on the left. So what is the shape of this distribution? I want you to sit and look at it, think about it a second. If you need to pause, look back at the notes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Go for it. So you may have guessed that one right there is bell-shaped. Your tails are pretty much the same on both sides. It, so it's almost perfectly bell-shaped. How about this one? Take a look at that. See if you can figure it out. See if you know it before I say it. If you need to pause and look at your notes, go for it. This one is skewed right because my tail over here on the right is longer than the tail on the left. Most of my data is over on the left. This is skewed right. Okay, how about this one? Hope you can get this one easily. The tail on the left is longer than the tail on the right. So this one is skewed left. Good job. Finally, this one. Oh, look at that. I already had the answer there. This one is a uniform distribution because it is a big rectangle. Thank you. Um, make sure you take care of the, um, do the lab. There are instructions regarding the lab. It also tells you what kind of data you need to collect. And it says 50 data points, but I am perfectly fine with you doing just 20. The more, the better, but 20 is fine. Thank you.